would you buy this for your kid if you wouldn't wear it yourself kind of thing. I know I don't love denim that much, so I don't really buy it for my kids. But Welcome back to my channel you guys and if you're just new welcome how are you so glad to have you here I wanted to sit down and share my thought process and kind of just like my process and how I dress my kids and why and all of the styling tips that I have for you guys I often get asked about my kids clothing so I'm just like let's just sit down do a video and try to cover everything in one video so let's get into it I'll try to leave links down below oh I also have a clothing haul for you guys I know I know another clothing haul for the kids but they're always growing and they're always growing so I try to keep buying clothes every few months for them and just kind of keep that going they that way by do okay my first tip here we go you guys ready? Okay, shopping for my kids clothes like every few months it just kind of replenishes the stash they grow so quickly I do always size up though so tip number one always size up and make sure you're buying pieces here and there you don't have to go out and do a huge clothing haul every month or every other month but maybe every three to four months you want to just replenish the clothes a little bit just add a piece or two here and there and I'm not gonna lie like I'm obsessed with dressing my kids I love to dress them even more than I like to dress myself um, but you know you don't have to do that we are pretty minimal with the clothes my kids wear everything on repeat they don't have like a crazy amount of clothes but I think they do have a decent like capsule wardrobe is what I would like to say I am drinking my coffee girl you are talking too much already and yeah so I do have a little haul but I'll get into the haul after I do the tips okay so let's start with the tips so tip number one size up on your kids clothing so important I would for instance like Noah wears Noah's three years old he'll be four in the beginning of the year and um, I would say for him he wears a four to five right now but I'm noticing you guys I don't know if my kids are just tall or what this is like off center I don't know if my kids just tall or what but he's three he'll be four in the beginning of next year he is wearing three to four to five already he's wearing size four to five in the simple folk clothing if you don't know who they are they are a beautiful small shop that has the simplest best quality pieces that are organic sustainable all of the things I'll leave them down below but I love them so much um, I'll leave all of our small sh favorite small shops down below in the description if you guys want to check them out no they are not affiliated I just genuinely love them and spend lots of money there so but yes he is wearing Five, four to five year old clothing I can't even believe that I it blows my mind he must just be tall you guys I don't know I don't know but he's wearing four to five clothing already so now I'm gonna have to start sizing up five to six when I start buying him clothes here in the future because I can't even believe it I think some of these pieces that I got were five to six not sure but yeah you always want to size up because whether it be a size or two this way your kids can wear it so much longer especially if you're spending like a good coin on them you want to make sure they're lasting a lot longer and I would rather them grow into it than just buy it just right and then they're out in a month or two like that's a waste of money this works so well for us we've been doing this for years and it works well and then Nola can wear all of Noah's stuff you might be like you know I don't want it to be like baggy and saggy I want it to look like it fits them well, that's why, I mean, honestly, I like clothes to look a little bit big on my kids. I don't want it to be, like, super oversized, but I feel like when it's oversized, it's comfy and cozy. And then they grow into it, and then it's like you were able to stretch it out for that much longer. But my kids always wear oversized and then eventually grow into it all the way and then grow out of it. But, I mean, that's just a preference. I wouldn't buy anything that's, like, crazy oversized. Just a little oversized where they have room so I would always size up the next size so if your kid is in like a two to three I would do three to four it just works really well for us and I will continue doing that always okay so picking a color theme this is gonna probably sound a little crazy to some but I love to pick a color scheme or theme this way hear me out this way everything matches and mixes all together and you don't have to worry about oh my god what's gonna go with this shirt or what can go with these pants or what's gonna go with this hat everything just kind of coincides and just 
goes really well together it doesn't have to be a neutral theme it could be it could maybe be like a pastel theme or if you're into neons like I don't know girl whatever you're into I'm personally into neutrals of course I love my neutrals but the reason why I love neutrals so so much is everything goes together you you don't have you don't have to put any thought process basically into picking out clothes like pick out this sweater I know it's gonna match these pants pick out this top I know it's gonna match these pants pick out this sweater I know it's gonna match these pants pick out this dress it's gonna match this sweater like I never have to put any thought process into dressing them at all like everything just goes matches so well a little off topic there's been times in the store you guys where people randomly come up to me and they're like wow like you have it all together you guys all match did you plan that i literally have been asked that a few times just in the grocery store and it's so weird having that conversation with people because me personally i'm just like i don't put any thought really into us getting dressed i just get us dressed it's so simple so easy that's why i like neutrals and not to mention brings me to my next tip tip number three when you're buying neutrals it makes it so it's very unisex for all of your kids if you plan on having more so a lot of clothes that noah has worn nola can wear too and they will look just fine it's gender neutral and i love that um now nola does have dresses like she has girly things nola does have like dresses and things like that and bows and bonnets and well bonnets can be worn for little boys too which i think is cute but noah has so much hair and not even gonna fuss with the bonnet for him but um yes they can wear all of the clothes unisex but she does have her own little exclusive pieces but i will pass those down if we do have another girl in the future we'll definitely be saving all of her dresses and stuff so definitely pick a color theme which we talked about and then now we're talking about gender neutral and neutrals but that doesn't have to go that doesn't go for everybody because i know some people like color and that's okay that's okay do what works for you you're shopping for these things and these pieces you want to make sure you like them tip number four shop basic i love to just buy basics you guys i love knit sweaters and just rib ribbed pants or corduroys or things like that that are just basics you can't go wrong with sweaters you can't go wrong with like overalls for the summertime or t-shirts i just shop very basic and layer things together and match things together and kind of layer things which brings me to my next tip tip number five you want to make sure that the things you're buying are really diverse i always look at that so let's say there's these overalls online that i'm looking at i'm like okay how many different ways can he wear this and what seasons can he wear this in so for instance overalls are really good because you could put sweaters underneath the overalls and there you can there you go you have it for winter too and then in the summertime you take off the sweater and put like a short sleeve on so they're very versatile and you can also put like a sweater on top of the overalls like very versatile and that's what i like and diverse and that's what i always try to shoot for i just bought nola some smock dresses which are really good for the summertime and really good for the winter time sweaters underneath and t-shirts underneath or just by themselves too it's cute as well so yeah layering pieces are a must when you're looking at kids clothing i highly suggest just to see how diverse and what seasons can you wear things in and then also you could put like tights underneath dresses so that works as well for winter or um, knee high socks we love knee high socks okay so i always suggest to have like shoes that look kind of dressy but also play shoes like my kids have a few different pairs of shoes they have like their really dressy like boot shoes that they really hardly ever wear mainly for photos or whatever we've got going on mainly for photos though like they don't just wear those out to play in the mud they have shoes i love leather shoes because they look really dressy but very durable and they're really good for them to play in as well so i have these one navi shoes i believe they're called navi i'll link them down below i got them on amazon well i got mine from the thrift store but i see that they carry them all different kinds um of colorways like the little soles and stuff are on amazon so i'll leave that down below they're little slip-on shoes and i also got nola shoes from amazon and they're just cute as well and they're really durable so easy to put on and that brings me to my next tip i don't know what tip we're on now but i think six five i don't know but 
make sure you have when it comes to shoes slip on shoes the ties are so cute like the little lace up ties are so cute but they are so annoying to put on like i can't even tell you how annoying they are for me to put on so we avoid laces almost at all costs i have bought the kids many shoes in the past with laces and i like regret it every time i go to put them on it's just like a battle trying to get them on and then trying to get them to stay on so i just do the slip-ons and they work really well a van would work really well like vans or the knobby shoes or any other kind of slip-on shoe um, i think i heard crocs are good too i don't know how durable like good they are for playing i would assume they're pretty good for playing but we don't own those they're cute though so yes a play shoe that also is kind of dressy like a mixture of both is good like my kids have one pair of shoes that they wear every single day we're just minimal like that but i know a lot of people have a lot of shoes for their kids but we have one and it works really well and they have like i said their dress shoes and then their everyday play shoes a good way to know how to dress your toddler or your baby is how are you dressing today if you're wearing a sweater then put a sweater on your baby because they feel what you feel so if you are feeling like it's cold outside put a sweater on yourself and on your baby or if it's hot outside and you wouldn't wear a sweater don't put a sweater on your baby that's like the easiest way to remember that is just your kid how you are dressing because they are feeling like the same temperatures you're feeling so I love that that's just very easy to remember <sighs> when it comes to like denim and stuff like that it's like if you're not gonna wear denim why would you buy denim for your kids denim is so uncomfortable to me that's just an example but I my kids own like one or two denim items and they don't wear them that often because I just feel like denim isn't that comfortable but it's like you know why would you wear this if you're why would you buy this for your kid if you wouldn't wear it yourself kind of thing I know I don't love denim that much so I don't really buy it for my kids that's just an example and then it doesn't have to be like matching outfits all the time I do tend to match our outfits kind of just like not even consciously like subconsciously I just pick items that I like for myself that I buy for them if that makes sense like my kids have a Sherpa jacket I have a few Sherpas because I like them so I just shop for them as I would almost for myself does that make sense so you know sweaters I love sweaters so I buy sweaters for my kids I love stretchy pants so I buy them for my kids I love Sherpas I love corduroys I buy them for my kids so I just make it that simple that easy and I just buy what I think is comfy and cozy and I would like to wear accessories hats bonnets things like that I just like to make sure they're really versatile and they can use them with everything and I don't have to worry about them not matching certain things so I just like to make sure all of the accessories are really versatile and they can wear them with everything my kids actually love it well my kids love accessories Nola especially she literally like today this morning she went out with her dad they both did and she brought me her bonnets from out of here and was handing me them and it was actually really sad because the ones she was handing me they were too small and I had to put it away for like future kids if we have any more blows my mind her head is too big now for like 18 to 24 month bonnets now she's on to two to five year old bonnets like uh anyways she always is bringing me things to put on she loves to play dress up so she loves her hats she loves we have our little hats in the hallway she loves her bonnets she loves her lion bonnet what else just hats in general she loves hats she loves her little purse so she accessorizes with that she loves backpacks you name it that girl loves to accessorize noah isn't so much of an accessory person but he likes his little lion bonnet and his hat he loves his hat as well so yeah accessories are fun and it just kind of dresses them up a little bit and you know gives them a little little style a little pizzazz in their outfit and i love that so i make sure all of their accessories are really versatile so that matches like everything all right so those are all my tips i hope you guys enjoyed those tips and now let's get to the clothing haul and what i got for them recently because i thought it would be kind of fun to include in this video so starting out with um, I'll try to leave all the links down below again not affiliated but just brands that I genuinely love and spend our money on I love to shop small if you guys also know me I love to support my small shops I just think it's so important that they need our business especially in this hard time 
that the world is going through and why not support smaller yes they are a little more expensive but i swear the quality is so much better and it's more unique pieces it's not like the same thing everybody has so i love that all right so starting out my kids really needed some more crib sheets so this was part of the black friday sale i think this is part of black friday i don't know but i've had these items for a minute do you guys see the pattern of this it's like little flowers little gender neutral flowers i always feel like flowers are still gender neutral if they're not like super pink and i don't know i just thought these were cute so i got like a little floral because nola also shares that crib with noah they kind of switch in and out they both take naps in it and technically they can both fit in it at the same time but they usually don't sleep together but maybe in the future we might open it to a toddler bed at some point but Noah just doesn't want us to change the crib we've tried to and he's just like no I want it to stay a crib so I don't know when that will change I'm sure in the near future I got this color this is like the golden color and these are the mushy crib sheets they are the extra soft muslin 100% cotton crib sheets so I got these two because we really needed some more let me know do your guys kids go through crib sheets like really often i feel like mine go through them so often okay so on to some actual clothing pieces most of this is from the simple folk i just love them i was talking about them a little bit earlier this is their little logo we shop there a lot basically all my kids clothes are based are just from there they're from there and for a lot of good reasons i just love how sustainable organic basic neutral they are like i just love it they even sell women clothes but the women clothes are kind of pricey they're all they're just a pricey shop but i do think it's well worth it um okay so there's some other small shop items that are not from the simple folk in here that i'm just gonna go through as well because the simple folk is like at the bottom so these are by make make organics and these have already been worn piercy stain remover a natural plant-based stain remover it works so well and it's all natural it gets everything out too so i'll leave that down below but it has these cute little pine trees look at how cute so these were like their christmas jammies but they can wear them all year round because they're just pine trees that's very like all year round so i love that so it has little wooden buttons that you guys just saw and then it has the little buttons down here the little snaps to do diaper changes and stuff so it makes it really easy for them to get their diaper changed or use the bathroom if your baby is potty trained already then you go that is awesome we're still not there yet but hopefully in the next few months we will be that's like my new year's resolution is to get my kids potty trained so we'll see how that goes but um yes they are so cute i just love these so much like look at i have to show the little pine trees just one more time like ah uh, so cute i just i just love and it also comes in this really cute sleeve like i'm a sucker for packaging too and it's just this really cute little bag that also has the really cute little pine trees on them and it just says make make organics button romper so i got the kids two to three in this because they only had that's the biggest size they had because for Noah I would have liked to size up more so but unfortunately they only go up to two to three so yeah Noah probably won't fit that next year but that's okay they were mainly for Christmas but you know Nola can wear hers next year okay so moving on to this other company that I really like as well and the wrapping paper is so cute this is by the brand Pudge Baby Look at how cute the wrapping paper is like adorable love the wrapping paper so i got noah a few pieces and really love them look at how cute so these are little like roosters he saw this and was like roosters i love them so i don't know i just thought these were really cute just little rust roosters so that's like a little crew neck and then I also they they sent this extra in my order they sent a few extra things which was really really nice I love them this really pretty peacock butterfly like anatomy t-shirt and it's just so nice really good quality so cute 
absolutely love this peacock butterfly so that's a really cute tea and then they sent this mushroom set which is really cute i bought the top and then they sent me the bottoms for free which was really nice um they contacted me and were like we're gonna send you some more goodies and i was like you guys are just so just so good to me the best so a little mushroom print little wild mushrooms so cute and it has their little pudge baby tag love that and then also the little pants that go along with that which these little pants that go along with that are also really nice so they sent the little pants for free they gifted those which was really really sweet i just love this mushroom print i think that's absolutely adorable and now on to the simple folk things i got noah some more pants because that's what he really needed these are some corduroy pants and these are in four to five but they're actually pretty big so i didn't need to size up into a five to six so i'm glad i didn't because they're pretty big on him but he could still wear them and even roll like the waist up a little bit but um yeah they 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 look really nice they have little pockets the little pockets these are adorable so corduroys really good quality nice and thick and then i also got nola the smock dress to go with that really cute and i think this has pockets too like look at these little pockets so cute not like she's really probably going to use them but very cute, so they match Mom. together. Hi, baby. Hi, what are you doing? I'm doing a video. Guys. I'm almost done. Can you go with Daddy? Mom. Noah. What are you doing? It's a TV. I'm almost done. I'm literally almost done. Can you close the door? Hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's so funny. And then I got Noah these pants. These are really nice little ribbed pants. He actually owned these before and grew out of them, so... Um, I had to buy him another pair. These are four to five, and yeah. I can't believe how tall he's getting, but it has like really nice rib material. I think these are in the color cinnamon. Really nice, really thick, nice leggings. Noah's really hard on his pants though. Those don't really last him that much, but the corduroys probably will because they're really thick. But pants like these don't last as long because he is hard on his stuff, okay? He is a boy boy for real. And then the last item I got from the Simple Folk is another smock dress for Nola. She's been wearing this one already. It actually still has the tag though. I didn't even realize that. This is three to four. So she could definitely grow into this, but it looks really cute on her now. And it has little pockets and the little back is so cute. So it's kind of like apron style. Or it really is like a smock dress. Very cute. And that's really all that I got recently for the kids clothing and for the kids in general. But I, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know what your toddler fashion, how you guys shop for your kids clothes. Let me know your process down below. Do you have a process? Do you have like a way of thinking when you pick them out i'm sure you do i would love to know your guys' tips down below and let me know if this video helped you guys at all hopefully it did help you in some kind of way and if not i hope you enjoyed the haul right at least but thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one make sure you like subscribe all of that good stuff and i will see you in the next one and i'll leave all the small shops down below that i can too anyways bye see you later